The cell. The cell is the building block of the body. We all start from a single cell which divides until we have 100 trillion. Despite this, each cell retains the same essential characteristics. In fact, each cell can be considered a life form in its own sense, able to live outside the body for a certain time given the right conditions. This is important because what makes the body so special is that all these trillions of cells get on, cohabit and communicate. What allows them to communicate is chi and so although each cell has its own chi within it, it is the relationships between cells that is important. This is similar to how humans function in society. Each human can be considered to be a cell and together they form systems of government, agriculture, arts, sanitation and even defence. Within this, the inner workings of each human is less important than their role within society and their relation to others. When there are problems with society, it is generally problems within communication or cooperation rather than problems within the individual people. This analogy can be used with the cells and body and hence an understanding of why the functions within the cells can be considered as fairly unimportant. Of course, there can be problems within the general functioning of cells affecting all of them, such as mitochondrial diseases or lysosome storage diseases. But these tend to be serious and generally incompatible with life. Rather, the cells tend to just get on and do their job fairly unremarkably until stress or catastrophe causes them to signal otherwise. Such signalling may cause pain or other symptoms. Local distress to cells can be overcome by simply replacing these cells with regeneration, a function of what the Chinese call blood. The cells are, within the context of the body, both expendable and replaceable, up to a point. So, what goes on inside the cells is not important in the same way that the functioning of your bank manager's kidneys does not affect how your bank operates to any significant degree. Despite this, the function within the cells are worth discussing, and for two main reasons. Firstly, for general interest and curiosity. And secondly, because they mirror the functioning of the body, as we will see. The first place to start with the cell is its skin. This is called the cell membrane and is composed of a sea of lipids in which floats receptors and pores. These regulate messages from the outer world and also what enters and leaves. In this way, it behaves like our skin, but also the skin of our gut too. It is able to absorb things such as amino acids and glucose, and it can even bud off part of the membrane to make tiny vesicles that act like small stomachs. These vesicles float in the cytoplasm, which is like the lymphatic system of the cell. At the heart of the cell lies the nucleus, which functions like the brain or heart. This is protected by its own nuclear membrane. The nucleus sends messages to the endoplasmic reticulum via RNA. The endoplasmic reticulum then takes the food which has been absorbed into the cell and takes the instructions from the RNA and uses it to build proteins. In this way the endoplasmic reticulum behaves like a liver. Finally the energy from respiration is provided by the mitochondria. These behave like the lungs of the cells and convert oxygen and sugar into carbon dioxide, water and energy. This process is driven by an electrical spark across the inner membrane of the mitochondria. So, as you can see, the cell is a really interesting place. It's got lots of stuff going on within it. It's got the entire 
organ system of our bodies hidden within tiny things called organelles. But the most important thing to understand about the cell is it's walled off. It's enclosed by a cell membrane. And so in a way, it's not really touchable by most drugs and also by acupuncture and by moving qi. What qi does is affect the relationship between cells in general anyway. And so we don't need to know an awful lot about what is happening within the cells per se. We can just understand their function within the organ itself. This is why, thankfully, we don't need to talk any more about the function of the cells. And we can just cast this five minute lecture into the recesses of our minds and kind of forget about it.